Well, try to, the, the last part of your question there uh, or statement was try to work to see that the enemy doesn't get here. Well, I'm all for it. It's called securing your border. I'm all for trying to stop somebody from getting here and doing something uh, rather than having to deal with it after they do it. And that's the whole purpose of this ad is to talk about the things that we need to do to stop them from getting here and to identify the ones who are here and make sure we get rid of them. Mm -hmm. So, but the, I, you know, the, the whole foreign policy debate it's, it goes on constantly, and I'm glad it does. It doesn't lessen the, the degree to which our country remains vulnerable. In fact, just as you say, some people would suggest it makes us more vulnerable. And, and by the way, um, there are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of chatter, I guess you put it that way, on, on uh, various sites about uh, the potential for uh, some sort of, of activity here in the United States. Uh, some sort of uh, retaliatory activity if anything happens, if we do go into Iran in any sort, in any way whatsoever. But all of these things taken in total mean that we have a huge problem, and the problem, by the way, isn't going to go away even if we left Iraq oh. and, left, and left the Middle East entirely. But please understand that the problem is not generated by our activity any place or our relationship with, with Israel. At least I don't believe that. If, if Israel didn't exist on this planet, and if we had never gone into Iran, uh, to Saudi Arabia originally, if we'd never been on the ground in Saudi Arabia, we still would be in a conflict Congressman. with... with Congressman, With it's to those Islam. who say, though, that this ad, I mean, especially looking at the polls and the support that you're having or losing at this point, is this ad a desperation, Congressman, uh, an act of desperation? Well, I'll tell you, it's not, I don't think it's going to, it's certainly not going to change my position vis-a-vis -vis the, the top tier candidates. I'm not going to be springboard to the top as a result of this ad. It's something that needs to be said. I'm willing to say it. I hope that what it does is generate the kind of conversation we have had here today, but not only that, generate the conversation among the candidates who are running for office. I would like to know what they are going to do about the fact that there are people in this country who are determined to kill us. Congressman Tom Tancredo, thank you very much for coming on the show this afternoon. You bet. Thank you. And up next, he's a 30-year police officer.